Good morning, Thoughts and Courage family. I am so excited today. A little bit stressed, but it's gonna be okay because it is the week of our trip, y'all. It has been so long in the making and it's for a very special reason. I'm so excited. Y'all know here at Falcon Courage, I like to plan well, have fun and travel the world. And today, today y'all, we are going to go to Jamaica. We've been trying to go to Jamaica ever since we first got married for our honeymoon, but we haven't been able to make it. As you can see behind me, things are a little hectic. Got fresh laundry done here. We've got clothes that we've tried on and we don't want to wear over here. We've got clothes that we do want to wear over here. Possible bags we want to take. Bathing suits and different types of dresses. My toiletry bag, pajamas, you know, phone, shoes, the whole thing. But I have a really special surprise for Hun. Hey Hun, where are you at? I'm here. What you doing? I'm hiring. How's it coming? It's good. It's yeah. kind of hiring for the trip, even though it's probably a waste of time, but you know me. Yeah, you like to keep things crisp. But why are we going on this trip, hun? Why? Because it's my birthday. Woo! It's your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy. Well, it's actually your early birthday. Yeah. Your birthday will actually be in Jamaica, right? Yep. And why do we pick Jamaica? Jamaica has been on my mind ever since I've been in the sixth grade. I used to live in Alaska. I was watching TV one time and I noticed how beautiful it was while I was like sitting in my dad's lazy boy chair. And I was like, man, here I see them chilling in Jamaica on the beach uh, in their lounge chairs. I'm like, Phew. So it's been a long, long time coming. Very long time coming. Oh yeah, but I got a surprise for you. What's that? Oh, I got a birthday present since we're doing all this. Uh -huh. Stop what you're doing. Come with me because I have a surprise. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Since we're packing today and it's Hun's birthday, this is his birthday trip to Jamaica. We're going to Ocho Rio, so we're going to stay at the Moon Palace Resort. I thought it'd be fitting. New year. Let's upgrade his luggage because y'all, it's been a while. And his luggage is like a little teeny thing. Anyways, thank you to our friends at Level 8 Cases for helping me with this surprise gift for Hun's birthday. Happy birthday, Hun! Go ahead, babe. Open your gift. Go for it. Whoa. Look at that. I do like this because, you know, I don't have to bend over. Yeah, I know. You're tall. So look yeah. at that height. That's nice. I like it. Especially, like, you know, when it rains outside. Oh, yeah. I have, yeah. Like, I have cloth. You know, I've been really fortunate. It hasn't got wet or anything. Yeah, that's an important thing, y'all. To plan well for a trip to the Caribbean and especially Jamaica, it's beautiful, it's warm, it's sunny, but it also rains. So I definitely recommend a hard side luggage. Wow. Interesting. Ooh, compartments. I like it. It has four wheels, it can swivel. I'm used to a zipper, but this doesn't have a zipper, like a latch. Right, because the whole, it's all aluminum luggage. This is really nice. And what I also really like about it is this uh, handlebar that when I push down, it comes up to any uh, height. I'm six foot three. It's perfect. I can swivel it around. I can tilt it. Um, yeah, you're not like bending over. <laughs> just bending trying to over. get like some of my old bags. Whoops, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you call me out there, babe. I like how it has the, the four stubs. I can lay it on the side. I can carry it this That's way. That's right. I can have the handle and carry it this way. I like how it's kind of light. doesn't make a loud noise. It goes down by itself. That's wild. Yeah. These are cubes to keep my clothes organized or, you know. Packing cubes. This packing is, cubes. This is really nice. Very nice. <laughs> wow. We've got some anti-mildew and water repellent fabric to keep organized. And it's got these removable patches that you can take off and put new ones on. That's pretty cool. You can yeah. switch between bags. Mm -hmm. So I picked this bag for you because one, we're leveling up for your birthday. Ooh, what's Ooh, that? Luggage tag. Let's see what it looks like. So this luggage is a hard shell material. It's anti-scratch. It's got this aluminum alloy trolley handle, 360 spinner wheels for like really smooth gliding. It's got a telescoping handle and wow. And it even comes with this tag. 
very classy. Yeah. That's the most bougiest bag I've ever had <laughs> in my life. It really is, because yeah. you've had some trash bags. I'm not going to lie. Hey, they all serve as purpose. They do. They all work. I made they it all work. work you know? you, we made it work, right? Yeah. We do what we can do. But this is really nice, son. You, all, you had to start somewhere. You got to right. crawl before you can walk. That, <laughs> that's so true. Yeah. This is cool. What's cool is that since you're so tall, this bag looks like it could actually fit your clothes. Yay! Glad you like it! Yay! Yay. Now we gotta actually put stuff in it because we gotta go very soon. While I was picking out Hun's luggage, I also happened to um, pick out something for myself. Not as nice or as flashy as what he got, but definitely practical, which y'all know, I'm a practical queen. So let's see what I got. I picked up the Level 8 Pro Luggage 20 inches and it is gorgeous. It also has a really sturdy handle with TSA approved locks. So there's a couple colors available. I picked out the carbon gray. It's a polycarbonate material with a limited lifetime warranty. Telescopic handles with the press of a button. Really nice. I love a good front pocket. Y'all know I've been searching for luggage. And look at this. All I have to do is hit that button. And I have my pocket here so I can fit all kinds of things. Like I can fit a whole laptop in this compartment, my passport, any other trinkets I need, magazines. And it's got this really cool charging cable that comes to the top here. It doesn't have a battery in it, but you can connect your own battery through here, which is nice. I just have to plug in my charger. And I want to close it back up. To release the other handles, I just click on this button. And there we have it. I'm so excited to go to Jamaica and now we've got to get packing. So thank you to Level 8 Cases for hooking us up with luggage for Hun's birthday trip. Y'all, can I just say our new luggage glided across the DC airport floor like a dream? If you want to check out the 20 inch full aluminum carry on in silver, the 20 inch pro carry on with laptop pocket in gray, or one of the many sophisticated yet simple luggage options, check out the link in my description box and use my exclusive discount code Antoinette10 for 10% off a new piece of luggage for your next trip. While we're hopping on a bus to go to our resort, let me tell you a little bit about Ocho Rios. Ocho Rios, or Eight Rivers, is a town in the St. Anne Parish on the north coast of Jamaica and is well known for its stunning natural beauty and adventurous activities. Jamaica has an interesting history, having first been inhabited by natives, then the Spanish, and then the United Kingdom. And it most recently gained its independence from the United Kingdom in 1962, which explains the colonial architecture and why residents drive on the left-hand side of the road. Ocho Rios offers exciting excursions like waterfall climbing, horseback riding, and zip lining through the treetop, as well as picturesque beaches, lush rainforests, snorkeling, scuba diving, and sailing. Whether you're seeking relaxation or thrilling outdoor experiences, Ocho Rios has something for every type of traveler, which is why we decided to visit for Hun's birthday. And just like that, we made it to our all-inclusive resort, Moon Palace, Jamaica. Time to check in and grab a bite to eat. Thank you so much. Thank you. What is it? Pineapple and ginger is the oh, Okay, pineapple and ginger. Awesome, thank you so much. Cheers. I don't even like drinking pineapple like that. That's good, right? Yeah.
famous Bob Marley drink, which is made from pineapple. What did you say was the bottom? Strawberry. This is the famous Bob Marley drink that's made from strawberry, mango, and blue carousel liquor. Yummy. Here we are with our Bob Marley shot. Cheers, hun. Cheers. Good morning, everybody. We have made it to Ocho Rios, Jamaica. We are staying at the Moon Palace, Jamaica. And so far, so good. Babe's back there. Hey. We are having a great time. It is nice and toasty. We are here for Hun's birthday. Our room reservation included airport transfers from Montego Bay, Jamaica. That's about a two hour ride. So we shared a shuttle with a couple of other couples and it was a nice, comfortable air conditioned ride. Our driver was awesome. There was Wi-Fi on the vans. Today we're out exploring the resort and I'll take you with us. We were so excited to arrive at Moon Palace that we decided to tour one of the many suites that they have available. This suite could fit an entire family, no doubt, and the views were stunning. After that, we walked around the property where there were locals selling wonderful goods and clothing. There's even an outdoor amphitheater and we got to see one of the many pools on site. How cool is this place? The rest of tonight, we're just gonna chill. Probably go get something to eat later on. Maybe catch a show, see what else they have. They have a full gym on this property. There's the multiple restaurants. Nice. Yeah, the gym is nice. I wish we had that in our, uh, where the, we no. live at. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't we all wish we had resort style gyms <laughs> where we live at? Today, we're just gonna chill. You know, keep exploring the resort because tomorrow we have a lot, of, a lot of fun planned. And even the day after, we still have a lot of fun. So we will take you along with us, y'all. walking through the resort now at sunset so it's a little bit cooler than it was during the day it was really hot during the day so we're just going to stroll One thing I love about all-inclusive resorts is that it is truly all-inclusive. Whether it's non-motorized water sports, dipping in one of the pools, going to the gym, or even eating at a number of the restaurants and buffets, it is all-inclusive. Everything is included, including drinks like water, bottled water, soft drinks, alcohol and non-alcoholic beverages but tonight we decided to eat at pier 8 which is a seaside seafood restaurant let's check it out together Start off with a little appetizer, plantain chips, and a pineapple salsa. And I have a Congo drink, which is a little bit of juices, cranberry juice, a little bit of alcohol, and Babe has sour apple martini. Yeah, cheers, hun. For starters, we had the salmon and sorrel reduction along with the seafood fondue appetizer with fish on top of a cheese sauce with rosemary butter and toasted bread. For dinner, I had the jam rock fried octopus and Hunt ate the tamarind glazed fish fillet. I was so full that I could barely eat the dessert, which was the appleton bread pudding with coconut milk and spices garnished with cherries and orange zest. Everything was delicious. Afterwards, we kept exploring the sushi bar, the pizza spot, the nightclub, the lobby, and the clothing store. So much to see. Good morning, y'all. Hun's birthday! Get over here, hun! 
Let people see you. You are a year older. Come on, they can't see oh, you. Okay. Can't see your face. We planned out a full day of activities for today and tomorrow, and we're gonna take you along with us. But first, breakfast, y'all, room service is included, so why not? It's Hun's birthday today, so let's go eat. First activity for Hun's birthday is a visit to Mystic Mountain in Ocho Rios. Transportation to and from the resort was included in our ticket prices, which ranged between $89 and $100. Mystic Mountain is an adventure park with zip lining, bobsledding, and chairlift rides through lush rainforests. It offers a thrilling experience and panoramic views. Let's check it out and have some fun. Now we are starting off on this, what's it called, Hun? Mystic on the Mystic Mountain tour where you, it's kind of like a ski lift, but you're going to the jungle in the mountains. We are very high up. Oh, and we can see the sea over there. Oh, nice. Yeah, here's behind us what it's like and what it's like in front. Woo! Ooh. It's really relaxing. Yeah, I think that's our hotel in the oh, distance. Oh, 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 hold on, oh, hold, oh, hold on. And we still have a little bit more to go to get to the top. Mystic Mountain doesn't just have fun thrill skiing activities. You can also learn about the history of the Jamaican people, the Jamaican heroes, as well as accomplishments from notable Jamaicans all throughout history. And of course, you have Olympic bobsledding, which was the next activity that we decided to embark on. Hold on, because this one was really, really fun. And not at all what I thought it was going to be. In the best way possible. Just watch. Woohoo! Oh, this is fun. Woo! Whoa! Woo! Oh my gosh! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! This is so much fun. A hill to go. There you go. Check that pretty hair. <laughs> I see you have your new birthday outfit on. We're doing it. This is what a new year looks like. <laughs> it is a good drop down. Get a good new workout in, and we're on our way to zipline. It's almost our turn. How'd you do? That was fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going. On to the next. So we can keep this going to where Gerard's laughing. These trees are fabulous. On to the next. Here he comes. Look at him go. Just finished the zip line and it was so much fun. What do you think, hun? I got my heartbeat like rushing, man. <laughs> it's, like... it's really kind of relaxing, but it's also thrilling at the same time. On prior zip lines, when you get to the end, there's like an impact where you have to like brace yourself. This one, the impact was really smooth. Actually, there wasn't really an impact. It was a ton of fun, and the guides were hilarious. And they had these two cute little boys that were six years old going through it, and they were kicking their little feet. And plan to do the zip line, don't take anything with you, and if you do, make sure it has a strap around your neck to hold everything secure. Do not put anything in your pockets unless your pockets zip close, because you're gonna have to like tuck your knees up and in to get to each station, so if you don't, your stuff is gonna fall somewhere in the brush, and you don't want that to happen. And it's about how many zip lines? Like what, three or four zip lines? Uh, and no a little shaky bridge, you know, walking bridge, which was fun. I definitely eat breakfast a little bit early, don't eat too much. This adventure park is really fun. Definitely recommend. Turn around. Wait, hey, don't, don't, don't be wiggling too no. much. Don't wiggle too much. Don't wiggle too yeah, much. Yeah, you're too you big to wiggle. You are too big to wiggle. <laughs> 
Need those thighs to be nice and steady. Time for a little lunch. Okay, we're treated with our chicken. Y'all, lunch is served. I got the chicken wings and fries. And Han got the fish. After bobsledding, ziplining, and grabbing lunch, we went back to the lockers, which were about $6 each, to grab our stuff and head back on down the mountain to our next activity. We really enjoyed our time and the scenery at Mystic Mountain, but next was our biggest adventure yet. Our coach picked us up and took us to Dunn's Falls. We made it to Dunn River Falls. It is magnificent. back in from a lovely time hun's birthday this year was a little bit more adventurous would you say hun than all the other years we went to dunn's falls we opted to go on the guided tour of dunn's falls and ooh, what's that what's that a little peep show no 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 and so we were just kind of standing around for like 15 minutes and some people were like leaving. They're like, we'll just do it on our own. So we decided to stick it out. And I was a little wary because I was like, what is going on? Like, I don't know when it's going to start. We have to be back at the bus by four o'clock. But I'm so excited. I'm so happy that we did it because we got so much more out of it. I thought it was going to be kind of like, okay, let's go stand by the waterfall and talk. But no, we went to the base of Dunn's Falls and we hiked up. So wow. it was like 900, 950 feet. Yeah, 950 feet. We hiked for Hun's birthday up the waterfall. I see how it is. You made me work for my birthday. Yeah, new year, new year, gotta work. But it was a ton of fun. What'd you say? Oh yeah. Did you do it again? Definitely, because there was a lady out there. Uh, I guess she was a grandma, and she was probably like in her 70s and. She did it. She did it. Yo, know, she hiked up with the guide. And so definitely recommend getting a guide. Again, they're free. You just have to tip whatever you feel like at the end, if anything. And it was totally, totally worth it. Lockers are about $8 for a small, about $10 US for a large to put all your stuff in. Make sure nothing's in your pockets, y'all. Definitely wear water shoes. And now, hun, got a little cake. I got a happy birthday cake. This looks so good, babe. But we've got to go to dinner, so. To dinner, right? Yep. Well, All right. We gotta take a shower first. We don't want to smell like fish. You don't want to smell like fish on your birthday? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even though we were around a lot of fish, so that's probably yeah. a true statement. But not anymore, because I'm getting in the shower. Yeah. All right, to dinner. Next stop. Sun-dried tomato pesto, mixed with fresh breads, cheese, cheese. With an Aperol sprit pineapple, vodka, and strawberry liqueur antipasti. I have mussels and a nice butter and wine sauce, as well as a beet salad. We have a delightful lasagna bolognese. Spinach. Uh, and cheese cannellini. Your eyes off of it. Whoa. Cheesy. Hey y'all, we have a busy morning today. We're gonna grab a quick breakfast. I have a really good omelet and bacon and potatoes here. Then we're gonna run off to the lounge where we'll then get on a tour to go to an actual fruit plantation. I kept commenting on how delicious the fruit was in Jamaica. So we decided to take a tour of an actual fruit plantation. Sun Valley is located in the town of Orcabesa. The plantation offers a 90 minute tour which tells the story of the property from the slave era to the present day. We went there to learn about the tropical fruits and plants to taste coconuts and all kinds of exotic and fruits that are known to us. Our guide, Brian, was the absolute best. Morning, morning, morning. So this is a walkabout tour. And um, basically, we get to see a lot of the fruits, the flowers, the fauna, common on the island. 
Yeah. The Earth's second most expensive yeah. spice on the planet, mm -hmm. vanilla. And so a lot of the hard work for vanilla production goes from ripening it and controlling the ripening and the fermentation of the fruit. So it ripens more or less at one time without losing too much aroma. Like dairy farmers will put in cheese to make the cheese look orange and stuff. Chocolate! Kind of like how coffee has to be roasted, chocolate also has to be roasted. But I'll cut one open and show you what it look like. And it's a lot of hope so it's okay. Okay, so it now tastes a damn thing like chocolate right now. But I can suck the jelly from the chocolate and it's a nice treat and stuff like that. Big man squeeze, yeah. Like Big man squeeze, oh yeah, man. God. Oh god, that was like a shit. Does it matter which one? That, yeah, that's fine. It's just a big man oh, squeeze. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now smell your hands. I don't know as wild ginger or shampoo ginger. If you go to the trouble to dig up the roots, the roots look just like your cooking ginger, right? Oh. Unfortunately, the roots have no taste or aroma whatsoever. But if you smell her hand, <laughs> or you can, or you can squeeze your yourself hand. and then smell your own hand, yeah. it will smell a little like ginger. ginger. Oh. It's a bit seasonal. This is a member of the ginger family, so you only get it. There you go. So that's turmeric. That's where curry come from. So it's a root on the ground. So all of these are turmeric plants, right? So very anti-microbial. It's good for germs. Anti-inflammatory also. English accidentally captured the Jamaica from the Spanish, and they needed to monetize the island, make money from the island. What is my accidentally? <laughs> they weren't supposed to capture Jamaica. Their orders were to capture Hispaniola, Dominican Republic. But that was a total fiasco. They landed in the wrong era. They marched to a quagmire. They knew that they weren't going to capture Jack. So they said, okay, let's capture something before we go home. Oh, Jamaica. Yeah, we'll do that. They never know the difference. They went very well capturing Jamaica. So initially, rather than defend the town, everybody ran away. They thought it was a pirate attack. So they thought, hey, you know what? We just leave the pirates to go away after two or three days. But it was an invasion, so the English came. Where the hell is everybody? <laughs> hey, dude, I think we won. Uh, so just like that. Um, so the English were able to capture Jamaica. They still got punished for capturing the wrong island. But they need to monetize, um, make money from the island. So the experiments going on in Barbados with the sugarcane plantations. They did say, hey, Jamaica is bigger than Barbados. We can make even more sugar and therefore more money. So there, a lot of sugarcane was planted. So sugarcane, so this stick here, so uh, filled with a lot of sweet, juicy water see you just oh, squeeze it right. and it's sweet sticky water that sticks yeah. up all your hand when you touch it will come right out and so they need a workforce to work in the sugarcane field and to process the sugarcane and the british being the british where's the first place um british are going to go for a simple manual labor the irish yes the irish but they tried with the irish you know thousands of irish it didn't quite work out with the irish you know the insects the hot sun so eventually african slaves were brought in to work on the jamaican fields and stuff. so that's why most of everybody in jamaica is descended from someone that worked in a sugarcane field oh. at one time or another oh, it's so giant good. lemon so it's much 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 oh more gosh. sour uh -huh. than anything um so to make juice you have to half it with lime juice to make it more palatable Along the tour, we ran into fun animals and critters like this hummingbird and even little lizards. It was truly spectacular. Brian made the tour so much fun with his energy and enthusiasm and knowledge for the plants and wildlife and all things plantation life. I recommend this tour for people of all ages, but since it is outdoors in the sun for a little while, I definitely recommend sunblock and shoes that you don't mind stepping in the mud. But overall, it's totally worth it. How are we doing plant back the same tree? All right, okay, so... Okay, so these are the younger coconuts now. Yeah, yeah good. Oh. Now, if you're, let's say, from, I don't know, Montana or somewhere. Montana? You go ahead, enjoy it. Or New England, probably not used to the younger coconuts. Yep. And you make a spoon right there. Come on, Red banana, a governor's plum or obsidian. In order to eat it, you roll it until it feels like a grape and then you crush it with your teeth and it tastes really good.
mango, coconut, red uh, sugar cane, pineapple, red fruit. Mommy, daddy. Mommy, mommy. The sugar cane is really good. It's the first time tasting the juice. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Do you like it? It's good, yeah. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Y'all, the fruit was so fresh. <laughs> and Brian, our guide, was so funny. He's hilarious. And he really brought the plants and the history to life. So now that our bellies are full of fruit and juice, we're gonna get back on the tour bus. That was great. <laughs> I never thought it would be uh... Attenzione, pickpocket! <laughs> 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 Just kidding. Yeah, I didn't know we were gonna be eating fruit. Yes, you did. Yes. Oh, not well. Not like that, but I didn't know it was gonna be almost like real uh, fresh, like naked and afraid. <laughs> Straight off the tree, the freshest fruit you can get. Everything was so sweet and delicious. Ooh, very much recommend. Time to go back in the water. Han, I don't know if we can see him. Han is right there. So I'm gonna go say, hi oh, Han, time to go to him. Y'all, this water is so warm. I love it. There is not a cold shock at all getting in this. One of the things I really hate about going inside like oceans and sea, growing up on the west coast, is the water is freezing cold. But this Caribbean water, water in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. It is so warm. It feels so good. Get my hair wet y'all. So, all right. Here's my comfort zone. And that's puns all the way back there. Oh, hey, look hey. at you trying to sneak up on somebody. Yeah. Go ahead and go. Thanks for coming out and meet me halfway. Yeah. Well, a little more than halfway. How's the water feel? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Babe's just gonna slowly fade around. <laughs> you know what? Talk to the people then. Oh, my bad. You if you guys never been to Jamaica, you guys should come out here. Put on your bucket list. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What better way to end the day than with a relaxing couple's spa treatment? The Aw Spa at Moon Palace, Jamaica is one of the largest spas, if not the largest spa in the entire country of Jamaica. They have multiple rooms. You can get everything from body treatments to face treatments, skin treatments, hair, nails, everything is offered here. So we decided to take advantage and grab a citrus massage right before we went to Hun's famous birthday dinner at Momo Japanese Steakhouse. Jamaican Windex right here, alright guys? No guys, remember, we all know 911's number, right? Yep. Yeah? Alright, no guys, remember, somebody call 911. Get ready, say, yeah, ma. Yeah, ma. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. If it's your day, your day. Hi. Happy 
like every vacation, all good things must come to an end. But thankfully, our four nights at the Moon Palace included round trip airport transfers to Montego Bay, Jamaica Airport. We stopped by the lounge to grab a quick breakfast and we were on our way home. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.